All right, so most of them are saying, we like the platinum card. It processes more evenly, adds that heat. It, um, it, gets, uh, it gets lighter faster, and we feel like it's healthier. So, and we charge more for it, and we do it because it's kind of needed at first, but then if they're going to come on a regular basis when they should, then you're just doing a bleach and tone. You're just touching up the roots. You don't need the foils for a quarter inch, half inch of regrowth. So now we're just doing a touch up. And I thought, okay, and we don't charge as much. And so I thought, okay, well, that's good to hear. Now, some of them were saying the platinum card for the more money and the consistency. And I said, well, what, now that you said the conducting heat, that might have answered my question. Because I was thinking, well, if you just, I, all I can feel is it's holding heat in and it's holding moisture in. Why not put the, the bleach on the dark spots or wherever you need it? and then put a plastic cap on the head to, to retain moisture and heat, and maybe even warm it up a little under a hood dryer or lamps or any other kind of techniques we have for at, the steam machines that people use. Why can't we add heat that way? What's the difference in that and using the foil? So that's, that's, that's actually a great point, and it's, a, it's... When you have outgrowth, so, so the whole thing of the platinum card Okay, you got to consider that hair grows on average a half an inch a month, right? Right. So if somebody's coming in with, you know, with, 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 with this much outgrowth, like a normal person, yeah, okay, fine. Maybe you can get away with the natural heat from the head and you don't have to lighten them up. Maybe you could do it with color. Maybe you don't have to use the bleach. But it also depends on their natural pigmentation, texture, density, and porosity. Those are the three governing factors when we go to formulate hair color. Okay, in an ideal situation, let's just say for the sick conversation – texture density porosity is all good and they only have that much normal outgrowth yeah okay fine knock them out when they have more outgrowth when they have more than a half an inch of outgrowth the problem is the heat from the scalp don't travel far enough down the hair shaft right that's why you need the foils to help conduct that heat evenly across to be able to get that lift because you're hitting that cold shaft is what we refer to as so that's uh, why that's why you need the foils that you know people yeah. use cotton people use all different kinds of stuff and that's okay i ain't saying nothing against that but foils is going to conduct the heat the best it's kind of like cooking a potato right so so it's all going to work the best the thing with putting it under the processing cap that's something we used to do a long time you know we, we've done it and we still do it to a certain degree it keeps right. heat in and then it helps that heat go. Now, the, the thing, what it is, and we used to take a, a, you know, we used to take our tail comb and we'd pop holes in the processing cap because that would let some of the heat release, some of the air release out. So it wouldn't all get trapped in there, right? Mm -hmm. But the problem with all of that is you're creating a vacuum. You're not getting oxygen, fresh air back in. So it's kind of drying it out and you're losing your moisture. And bleach or lightener, whatever you need, requires moisture for that oxidation to continue to occur and decolorize that hair. It, when you're popping them under a hood dryer, it's, yes, you're heating up that hair and it will force some additional lift, but... Let's say you, if, if, if you mixed up your, 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 your bleach and it had the potential to process for 20 minutes under that hooded heat dryer, you're suffocating it, you're drying out that moisture prematurely. Instead of 20 minutes, you're only going to get 10 minutes out of it. So how much lift are you really going to get in 10 minutes, right? If 